Hi everybody, this is Kelly O'Donnell with Fun Stamper's Journey bringing you another Christmas card. Hoping that you enjoy something a little bit simple. I challenged myself this time to do a single layer card. I hope that you can all see it. This card is very glitzy and so I'm afraid about how this is going to look on camera but hopefully you'll be able to see what I have uh, going on here. I uh, just wanted to take you through some products that I used on the card. First, I used these amazing Journey Just Right Gels. Uh, this is a set of 12 pens. They come in all different colors. And I, I can't believe the quality of them. They're amazing. Uh, they write so smoothly. Um, I really was blown away. Um, so, you know, just to write something quickly for you just to give you an idea of how you don't have to struggle with these pens. Enjoy the journey. It's really, look at how nicely those write and I'll bring those up to the camera again as well um, so that you can kind of see because these are very glittery as well. Um, so we are going to be using <clears throat> this set of pens specifically we're going to be using the silver pen today and we're going to be filling in some of our stars with that and his little um, boots and his scarf our main attraction is of course Blitzen our ATS stamp at Fun Stamper's Journey we also are going to be using the Merry Christmas sentiment from the Christmas mug ATS. In addition, we're going to be using Be Jolly. And that is, we're just going to take the stars here and these two little bursts over here. That's what we used over this, over on this part. This is just a single sheet of buttercream cardstock by Fun Stamper's Journey. We glitzed it up, of course, with our Journey Gold Embossing Powder. And then we brought in our cut rhinestones and our Fun Stamper's Journey pearls. We are also using Versamark. Fun Stamper's Journey has their own version of Versamark as well. This is just a watermark stamp pad that we'll be using with our embossing powder. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a, actually a very simple card. One other thing that I'm going to be introducing, which is not by Fun Stamper's Journey, but is at your local Walgreens, Walmart, etc., are these tapes. They're by Scotch. And so that's how we're going to make this portion of the card. So those will be coming in a second. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we, I cut this cardstock and scored it already. This cardstock is cut at four and a half. Um, and I cut just, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by 11. And then I scored at five and a half. And I just took the front of the card and I cut off two and three eighths inches from the front of the card. So you'll see that it's just this small part that opens that gives you an area to write your sentiment. Um, but Blitzen and these other stamps are actually stamped on the inside of the card. So it's an interesting challenge to use uh, just a single sheet of paper for a card. Uh, so you have to get creative with how things are cut and things look. Um, and so this was my, my solution to that. Okay. So I've used embossing powder in other videos. And you've seen me use this, which is just some baby powder uh, in a little container. Um, this helps make sure we get a very clean embossed image. And so I'm going to be putting that all over the inside of the card here. Okay. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Blitzen. I'm going to ink him up really well with Versamark. Okay, and we're going to get him as close to the edge as we can so that his antlers are not hidden by the front of the card once we close it. All right, let's give him a really good impression here. Looks good. I know that's almost impossible for you to see, but it just gives that watermark image. You'll have to trust me. I promise it's there. Then I'm going to take these little stamps here from the Be Jolly stamp set, and I'm going to just work around that other image. Um, it is a bit of a challenge to see, but I'm going to strategically place these around that image of Blitzen. Trying not to overlap him. So I know this is tough for you guys to see, but you're going to be thoroughly surprised in the end, I promise. All right, I think we're good. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to <clears throat> put my gold embossing powder on. I always bring an extra sheet of paper for this part. Fold it in half. And be very generous. Remember, we're not going to have any waste because we're going to put it right back in this little jar. All right. Look at how that turned out. Looks pretty good. All right, now just gave it a little flick there. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this with my <coughs> heat gun. Then I'm gonna go back to the front and do another uh, bit of embossing, so I'm not gonna get rid of the powder quite yet. Okay. Try to make it so you can see as this bakes up. Wow. It's such a brilliant gold. You'll really enjoy it. I'll make sure to link all the products below. Okay, we're done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just move this to the side really quick. Because I'm gonna flip this over. I'm just gonna use a quick bone folder here to make sure that it stays nice and flat for me. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Merry Christmas stamp I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to place it kind of in the center of the front of the card. Make sure it's a nice impression. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use <clears throat> This embossing powder again that we have over here. Okay. And I'm going to give this a flick because I did forget to put my powder on, my baby powder. So um, in this case, thank goodness I didn't touch the card too much. So we don't have that big of an issue. I'm going to put all my extra embossing powder back in the jar. So I often find <clears throat> when I use embossing powder and I don't put the powder down, I get my own fingerprints. Um, 
where the embossing powder touches the paper where I have not put the Versamark. So it's interesting. I can usually get them off, but sometimes it's more painstaking than others. So that's why I always opt for the baby powder if I remember. I'm going to get some of this powder out of the way. All right. And we're going to go ahead and bake this up with our, <clears throat> our heat gun. Make sure you keep the heat gun moving a little bit. We don't want it to be too long on one portion of the paper because it could burn the paper. Okay, there we go. Once your heat gun is hot, it takes no time at all to bake that. Okay, so next I'm going to take these cool... Um, tapes that I found and I'm just going to place them over the front of the card. I'm not worried about the edges. I'll get those later. Then I'm going to go in with my silver and finish it up here. Again, not worried about the edges at all. Just make sure you're butting it up directly with the last piece that you put on. <clears throat> And we are going to need, it looks like, a third piece here. Or we could just move them down, actually. Let's go ahead and move them down. We'll make sure this is on the edge. This goes on and off very easily, so that's another savings grace of this tape. It's almost like a washi tape. Okay. I'm going to move these up just a little because I did that. You always have to adjust, adjust. No problems. I don't want it to be uneven though. I want that Merry Christmas to have about the same amount of space at the top and the bottom of it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead, and that was so easy, even to take care of something that didn't go exactly right. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut off, just kind of trace along the edge here with my scissor. Making sure I'm not cutting the actual cardstock itself, just that tape. Okay, so we have clean edge there. Then I'm going to flip it over, close it up and flip it over. Okay. We have a very good looking card front here. Let me get this all out of the way. Now all I did is actually I went in with the gel pen and I did some decorating with it. So here's my silver gel pen from the Just Right Gels. I did the cuffs of his boots. I did his scarf. And I don't have to really apply much pressure. I don't have to worry about it not rolling. These are awesome. And then I filled in the stars. And because you have that nice edge from the embossing, um, it's super easy to just color these in really quick. You don't have to really worry about going outside of the lines. That embossing will keep you from doing that. Okay. 
And then we're going to add a bunch of embellishments to this. Um, originally in my card, I did go over just the a little bit here to give this a bit of dimension. Um, I did like the look of it. Uh, so I'm just going to do that as well here since it was in the original sample. Anywhere that I see little openings here. Just gives it a little bit of a different look. It's really hard to see on camera, I'm sure, um, but it does give it a bit of a different look. Okay. So now for the embellishments. Now, for our exercise here today, I'm going to try to just stick them on here. But if I was going to mail something like this, I would take a little bit of our journey glaze and I would go ahead and adhere the pearls and the rhinestones with the journey glaze. So we'll see how we do. We could probably do without journey glaze right now. I might end up going back and doing some journey glaze just to just to see make sure we don't have any issues later on as the card gets a bit older you want to make sure that you're not putting a rhinestone where the card needs to close So I'm using the very smallest ones for that burst, um, and then there's a different burst in here that I will use a larger one. There's only a couple of them, just one there and one there, and I use the next size up for that. There we go. And this one's a little bit tricky because it's right on the edge of where the card's going to close. So, uh, <clears throat> I also then added pearls to his antlers. And I added the smallest ones to his antlers. And... Then I added some of the larger pearls, our largest in the set, uh, right to the right and the left of the Merry Christmas. So three on each side. I was gonna do one in each corner and I decided that it needed just a little bit more because you know this card isn't extravagant or anything um, it's the simplest extravagant card that I could think of <laughs> still keeping that single layer theme you could also definitely use uh, tweezers or your bloom tool for this for placing all of this bling on all right that's it whoops I'm gonna just raise this up to the camera and make sure you're not getting a glare so here's our card. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please see a link to my personal Fun Stampers Journey website below. And I will see you soon with another video. Thanks so much for watching.